Hi, this is Gretchen and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about organizing your files in Lightroom. We're going to start off here in the library tab because before you import your photos you're going to set up a few settings that's going to help when you um, want to organize them later and go back to find them. So I've plugged in my memory card and I clicked on import photos and a lot of these photos here Lightroom's going to recognize that I've already imported them so they're not going to be re-imported a second time. That's why they're grayed out here. These two photos are something my kid took a long time ago so we're not going to import those either. Way down at the bottom I have just a few photos here of my daughter doing a puzzle. And so when I import them I've got to decide where I want to import them, how I want to import them, and what I want to name them. So I'm going to import mine to copy as a DNG, which means that they'll still remain on the memory card, but they're going to come onto my computer's hard drive as a digital negative. Um, I used to copy them just as regular files, and they would keep that same extension, that CR2, since I shoot Canon, but I decided that I needed to start um, doing it as a DNG. The file size is a little bit smaller, all the same information is there. It's just a better way to do it. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rename these. And you can rename them whatever you want. Right here is where you're going to rename the files. Um, if I know this is going to be out of puzzle, you know, I might choose to name it something like puzzle or you know I could name it that or you could name it by today's date or you could name it by you know my daughter's name which is Mara or something but anyway I'm just gonna call it puzzle and then we need to decide where we're gonna put it oh and right here it shows you what is the file gonna look like once it's imported and then down here we want to um, the next box talks about apply during import I don't have any develop settings I want to set um, that would basically be a preset um, of coloring or anything like that. I don't have anything I want to imply I or Im apply during import. My metadata um, that I apply during import, I can talk about that in another time, but I've set up my metadata so that when my images are imported to Lightroom, they automatically have my copyright information on there, my web address is embedded in the file, all the file information has that stuff embedded in there so that um, if my file were to go anywhere that stuff would be embedded in the digital information. Now keywords, this is a part that's really important and a lot of people skip over this. You want to go ahead and put something in here so that you can find your files later. Like I'll put my daughter's name in here, I'll put puzzle, um, maybe I'll put crown because I see she's wearing a crown. Um, maybe um, window. Here, see, look, I've already used those in the past. Window, natural light. You can do all those things. Maybe um, hands. Maybe bracelet. Um, you can just apply all those. It doesn't matter how few or how many, but I ch tend to use quite a few because that way if I'm ever looking for something, I've got all these markers on there that'll tell me um, that this is the picture that I might be looking for. Now coming down here, we need to decide where we want to put our file or our images. If you already have a file that you want to put it in, then you just click on that file or whatever, blog posts, you know, whatever. My new imports or whatever but if you don't have one then you can start one like let's say here new imports is where I put my photos that I import this year anyway let's say I want to go ahead and put these as um, pictures of Mara okay now watch when I go down here you'll see here is where that file is going to go. It's going to, Lightroom is going to create a new folder and that's where those files will go. So I'm going to go ahead and click import and the files are going to import in there and as they import Lightroom is going to create the folder right here and you'll see as they're coming in that this number is going to climb and the images will be, like I said, there will be a new folder on your hard drive and that'll be where your full your um, images are located and Lightroom recognizes that location so that when it needs to go back and look for those photos that's where they'll be. 
Okay, all the images are imported now. We didn't have too many of them. And so now I can go into my develop module and I can um, adjust the photos and I can decide how I want them to look and, you know, change the white balance, change the, um, change the exposure, all that stuff. I can do all those things. Here's coming up. Those are some pictures. So, but what I'm going to show you now we're not going to talk about develop module today. Right now what we're talking about is organizing. So now that I've got these images here, I want to show you how to use collections and I also want to show you how to find your images later. Let's say that I've got um, a bunch of fun photos that I like. We'll call them, um, maybe we'll call them fun, fun play photos or something. Well, I can create a collection and let's call them like play photos or something. Okay photos, yes. And um, it says include selected photos. You can check this or uncheck this. If you check it, then the one that is selected will go into that folder. Um, you can choose to do that or not. And so I've got this photo in there that's going to go into this collection. And it's basically just like it hasn't moved the photo at all. It's just a cross it's a cross-reference of how to find that photo and I might have play photos in all different areas and maybe I'll just um, go ahead and put them in there see like okay here's a picture of my daughter playing and I love that it. it's um her it's a silhouette of her so I can put that one in there too and um, maybe there's another one from another day or something oh look here's a picture of them playing in the bathtub okay so I can put that in there too and you know, maybe there's one from, you know, I can even put m photos in there that are on different drives and that sort of thing. Like, here's a drive, an F drive, that this is where I keep all my photos that are archived. And here's from, like, June of 2012 or something, okay? And I can put that photo into my collection. Oh, it won't let me move it down there. If I go down here to my collection of play photos, I can move this one down there. And then whenever I plug that drive in, because it's on an external hard drive, then I can retrieve it. Now, it's not, right now, my external hard drive is not plugged in. But if I ever wanted to print all these photos off, or if I wanted to create a collage with them or something like that, um, then they're all in one place. And another way that I wanted to show you about um, organizing your photos is not just by using collections, which is an awesome way to organize your photos. As you can see, I have all these photos organized. Here I have um, like, um, oh, all the different times my daughter has gone to the library for story time. Gosh, there's a million tons. I don't even have even close to have all the photos in there. Um, here are all the photos that when I got new business cards, you know, so those came from a lot of different sources and I put all those photos in one place. So those are from a lot of different clients and personal work and stuff like that. So you can create these collections and like I said, they're not moved and I didn't export, export them out of Lightroom so I'm not creating extra JPEGs on my hard drive or anything like that. They're just basically little markers that show me where those images, where I can find them and so now I have them collected here together so that I can uh, find them again later. But let me show you also how to use the metadata, which is just an awesome way to do it. Um, I, recently I was doing it, um, uh, I was writing something and I wanted to show an example of using a wide angle lens. So here under lens, I clicked, okay, well, here's my lens, and what lens did I want to click that I had used? Okay, well, I have all these different types of lenses that I could have clicked. Um, and depending on which folder you're in will depend on what data it shows. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I had more lenses here to choose from because my folder source is bigger. So if I wanted to show a wide angle lens, either, these are the photos I have from my 11 to 16 lens. If I wanted to show a 19 to 35, these are all the photos I have from my 19 to 35. And then you can even go further and you can even choose focal length if you want and they'll tell you exactly, okay, at 19 with this particular lens, at 19 millimeters I have this many photos. At 23 millimeters I have just this one photo. At 20 millimeters, I have these six photos and so on. You can choose by um, 
by camera okay you can choose by uh, different types of lenses and see you can see with this one I only shot with these two different lenses so that's why some of those lenses went away but you can sort down all your information this way by finding your different kind of lenses you can also sort by date and like let's say you knew you had a picture that was taken in February well it'll resort all this stuff see whatever this oh I know what this is this was some film stuff that I had scanned so but anyway um, so you'll be able to find your stuff a lot easier another way you can do it is if you let's say you know that something was taken here, let's go up here to all 179 dates you know it was taken and you know you named it something but you can't remember what you named it let's say you named it you know like baby or something I don't even know if I have anything with that label <laughs> but we'll see okay so here oh these are because my lens baby shots okay so see all these pictures were labeled with lens baby and these are from different times some of them were digital no no these are just lens. oh yeah no they're all film but these were different dates so my lens baby shots were all just happened to come up so that's another way to uh, find all your information for organizing and there just Lightroom is really powerful as far as organizing all your files and being able to find them again later and you want to be able to understand that so that you can really use Lightroom to its full potential and um, I, I really hope that this helps and if you guys have any other questions I'm more than happy to answer so thanks